Classic Hornet, the F-18A and the F-35. The Super Hornets achieved final operational capability in December 2012 and are based at number one squadron at RAF Base Amberley. Now the next manoeuvre the boys will again show how manoeuvrable the Rhino can be. First we're going to see the rapid 360 degree aileron roll and finish with the pirouette. <laughs> traveling
side of Mount Everest. 82 Wing currently fly both the Rhino and the Growler and it takes much more than air crew to support such amazing machinery. We have aircraft maintainers and technicians, logistics and administration teams, not to mention the huge amount of support required just to keep airfield and base operations working. Again, if you think in any way you might like to work around such capabilities, just go to the Defence Force recruiting stand or even go to defence.com.au and ask what you can do to join the Royal Australian Air Force. Now as the lads bring the Rhino back to earth, they'll set up the low level initial and pitch. This is a manoeuvre all jets perform when operating in formations and allows everyone to get back to base as fast and efficiently as possible. Now the Rhino is an incredible aircraft to fly. The pilot's skill combined with the state-of-the-art flight controls help produce manoeuvres that you never thought possible and at altitudes as low as 50 metres off the ground. This agility helps complement the Rhino's incredible radar, networked avionics, extended combat range and lethal weapons loadout. All right, ladies and gentlemen, look to your right as Woody and Maps fly at high speed, pitch out into the circuit and configure for landing. Right, as the boys conduct their final salute to their loved ones and all the ADF families as they come past Setter. Give them a big wave and a big cheer as they come past. Squat the jet and light the burners one last time. and all the aviators from 1 and 6 squadrons. We hope you enjoyed this brief demonstration of the Rhino's capabilities. Once the boys come to a stop and they taxi on through, make sure you give them a big wave and a big round of applause. And thanks for the work they've done here today. If you do want to know more about being part of the uh, family of 1 Squadron, 6 Squadron, uh, FA-18F Super Hornets or Growlers, simply go to the Australian Defence Force recruiting stand here at the Australian International Air Show or go to defencejobs.gov.au. Well, thank you, fellas. Uh, thank you, uh, Greg, and uh, thank you, Neil, uh, for your uh, commentary on that scintillating display by a number one squadron, FA-18 Super Hornet, Rhino, from RAAF Amberley up in Queensland. Now, we have the Hornet to land on, we have the Canberra to land on, we have a cable to de-rig, so we've got a bit of a delay happening for the next few minutes, but up and coming, as soon as that cable is de-rigged, the Red Bull aerobatic team will be uh, in the sky, the Sky Aces will be in the sky, and will complete the day with the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. While you're walking around here at uh, Avalon, I, I mean, you can pretty well see the air show from anywhere you're standing. 
Uh, this is the Vanilla Aviation Museum to see them the close this afternoon. Flying display. Hot day tomorrow. 32 degrees if you're coming back.